Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm But Fair Gaming. Wanted to get into a little issue I'm going to have before 7.0 comes out. And I know it's coming out soon, but I do have to deal with my inventory. They have said that the gear sets are going to be better in 7.0, so your old sets shouldn't matter. <laughs> I've seen old sets uh, become you know very useful in new patches so I'm gonna keep a bunch around also because tacticals don't have a rating I don't know if they will come out with new tacticals that will be better or not but I have a ton of tacticals that I've been collecting just in case some of the other ones do become best in slot in 7.0 now I do have a ton of inventory um, issues already. Like on my character, I already have a bunch I was saving. I'm going to start to get rid of all the mods because uh, by the time 7.0 comes out, I might only have one more character that uh, gets get to 7, 75. So this is what I'm going to start going through. Uh, I have a big issue with hoarding a lot of things. But that's because, you know, they make, make changes and they eventually might bring something back. So as you can see, mine is just jammed. I go everywhere from gear sets to, I have mission discoveries that are filling up that I haven't had time to go through and use them all. I have die slots, I have crystals, I have XP bonuses, uh, but those are things I was just hanging on to because I'm hoping XP bonuses are gonna be useful to level up in 7.0. Uh, I do have various tons of different like gear pieces and you know, I was just saving if I ran across like a pretty cool helm I would just keep it um, just specific ones in general like I, I do like that helm um, you know different gear pieces that I might run across that you know I think might work with a different character I'll just hang on to because we're all bound to legacy and you never know when you might need them or you know a fancy sniper rifle um, so I was Collecting those I had a lot of the uh, amplifiers um, Saved up and augment saved up and all that fun stuff. So I got augments here uh, I do have a lot of the universal prefab. Well, I don't have a lot, but I have some of the kits left I got some tacticals I had to throw on this page um, Just because my other page is pretty full well, I got a little space now but as you can see, you know, page one, I got mounts because I'm a big fan of the beast mounts. Uh, so I started collecting those and I didn't decide if I'm actually going to keep all of them because, you know, you can't use all of the mounts in the game. It's just, there's just so many. So I put them in my inventory and hum and haw and then I forget about them because my inventory is jammed and I don't get there. So <laughs> that's the way it usually works. But I, you know, I do like some of them, but some of the ones like this one is a little big for me to ride around on. I just find it's it's cumbersome and awkward to uh, move around most spots. So I usually use the smaller ones, something like this, to uh, to use for a mount for the most part, or the jetpacks or something along those lines. But I do uh, I just stick them in my inventory, and then you know a while later I'll have to go back and look and forget I had them there. Uh, then I started, you know, collecting all the mods because these were very useful when I got a character to level 75. I could just pump in all the ones with the amplifiers I need. So I have, you know, periodical intensity, I got alpha strike, I got med tech, I have weapon expertise, tech wizardry. I just started collecting all the gold ones I had just to keep them. And when I switched them out and I found something better, I would also stick it back in here. I also then collected different stat bonuses to mix and match to get better prioritization on them like the alacrity of a 441 but then i have a 344 so i can mix and match different ones uh and that was the whole reason why i was keeping a lot of these was to mix and match and then different uh 431s up here and if i found like a four or the 471 masteries i would definitely keep on the hilts and barrels and I did the same thing with the accuracy. I mix and match 344s, 316s, 344s, uh, sorry, 361s, um, 431s. Just mix and match the accuracy. So I had a bunch of different ones I could try and optimize with. And then I got into the gear sets. And because I main both a consular and an assassin, 
I switch back and forth. I like to have two gear sets for them. I hate moving gear around while I'm trying to play, so I always have a full gear set for each one. And that's why you'll see I have the you know dire retaliation double sets here. And I got into saving you know double sets of different items just in case. But the just in case never came around. They never really bumped any of these, so I will have to go through and probably discard a whole bunch because I just need more room uh, in my inventory. I don't know if you guys have done the same thing, but you know, I was Apex Predator comes along. I keep a set on, you know, my Bounty Hunter, and then I'll have a bunch in here just in case. So it was, uh, it was just a hoarding issue in general. But uh, some of it became useful, some of it didn't. Some of it I definitely can destroy, and some of it uh, I don't play the classes like. Um, the warrior, I don't play the class a lot, and I have its best in slot gear on most mine, so I could probably get rid of some of this, like the undying chest guard that I'll probably never use. Uh, but I did save almost every set because you know some of the sets were relevant at one point, and I wasn't sure if they were coming back. I did start to collect tacticals, and the reason I was collecting tacticals again because they don't have a gear score. There's no 306 on it. There's no 203 there's, there's nothing it's strictly a tactical and i don't foresee them really getting rid of the tacticals and i don't know if the same ones will be best in slot in 7.0 so i started saving a bunch for all different classes uh, i do have some on each of my characters just in case i think this one has four or five on them so i got a bunch down here to go to sleep quick exhalation you know, taking Force Bomb, just keeping a bunch on the actual characters themselves, <clears throat> and then a bunch in the inventory. But after you're handing in, I get a ton because I do a lot of heroics. Uh, I get a ton of these supply crates. I have a ton on each character, and then I load up the bank and then empty out the characters and go buy a whole bunch of things. And if a, you know, a unique almost piece of gear drops, I'll save that unique piece of gear so I can. You know, mod my stuff later, like change the appearance because one of the headpieces, you know, some of the stuff that you get dropped from uh, in the supply crate section on Odessin is pretty neat stuff. Like, I, you know, that's not a bad set together. So I started collecting a bunch of those just in case I would need them. But uh, I did empty out a lot of my companion gifts that you also get with them. So that kind of made up a little bit of space, one little bar, but not a time. So uh, let me know if you guys have the same issue, if you guys are saving gear, or saving tacticals, or if you're planning on doing any of that before 7.0 hits, if you're going to empty your inventories, move things around. I definitely will be going through my inventory and getting rid of a lot of the mods uh, because they will become obsolete in 7.0. So I'll just discard them, and while they're still worth, you know, some tech stuff, I'll probably replace them with a bunch of tactiles I don't have. Anyways, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're going to do. Like, share, subscribe. This was Deflect Firm Affair Gaming.